Okay, it's that time again. It's Mech Commander O'Clock. So, here we go into Operation 1, Mission 4. And here we get to do some of the first... Well, I should, shouldn't say more interesting, but more engaging missions of the game. Destroy Clan Headquarters Building. Destroy Clan Base Headquarters. Withdraw to Extraction Point for Recovery. Defend Allied Support Building. The support includes three small artillery strikes. Intelligence has requested a strike against the Clan Headquarters Building in Maresfield. Our forces have hastily erected a temporary base in preparation for a sneak attack upon the small stronghold. Your team must eliminate the guarding forces, destroy the building, and then withdraw for extraction. The enemy base will most certainly have scouting patrols guarding the obvious enemies. Stop them from returning and warning the base or it will be prepared for your assault. Destroying enemy patrols will also give you enough time to recon the base from higher observations, which should be here, I believe. Intelligence reports only one power generator. Destroying that generator will undoubtedly cripple the base's perimeter defenses, which include automated turrets and turret control towers. Once you have destroyed the headquarters building, return to the temporary base for extraction. Since there are active enemy patrols, we recommend that you use these three forces and send one Send one force to attack the enemy base while holding some units behind to guard the support building. Tactical notice. Capturing or destroying a turret control tower disables nearby enemy turrets. I'm telling you that now we've already encountered a turret control building in the previous mission. Offensive gates are controlled by gate control buildings located nearby. We get to see gates for the first time. How exciting. I hope you've got your excitement pants on. After the control building, we'll investigate who goes open that even if it's close for the enemy. Once alerted, vehicle crews housed in barracks take time to power up their vehicles, signified by the activation markers located near the vehicles. When the marker color is green, the vehicle is powered down. When it turns yellow, the crew is getting ready. When it turns red, the vehicle activates and drives off into the sunset. At any time before the marker turns red, destroying the barracks building prevents the vehicle from activating. This is actually a rather interesting feature of uh, Mech Commander in that vehicles do take time to... Some vehicles take time to activate, presumably including time for the pilots to get to their vehicles. Go! Get to the chopper! Okay, let's go ahead and fix up our forces here. There's our new Raven and our exciting Hollander. But by far the most exciting, dun da da da, our Timberwolf, which we salvaged last mission with its entire weapons load intact. How sweet is that? It is missing sensors though. So, we're going to need, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fit an intermediate sensor in there, which is a shame. But we don't particularly need any sort of advanced sensors for this specific mission. So we'll just throw a basic sensor in there. Let's strip everything out of here and get rid of that. So, missions... Next, we should bring on our mission. We should bring at least one jump capable mech, which we also salvaged in the previous mission. One thing out of that. We put in there got some pulse lasers, large pulse lasers, auto cannon. Oh, that takes up almost the entire mech. Intermediate sensor. How about a light auto cannon? Actually, we should gear this towards short range combat, so let's go ahead and put that pulse laser in there. Streak SRMs, regular SRMs. Streaks in this game not only always hit, but they also carry more ammo, I think. 
and do more damage. So, we should always use streaks. We can't fit all of them. We'll put two of them in there. Two regular SRMs. And who should we put in there? We have Beast. Uh, we have Hawk. We have... Oh, here we go. Mystique. Mystique. She's good at jumping. This is Mystique. Here's Hunter. And Lynx. This is go Lynx. ahead and put Lynx into the Timberwolf. This is Lynx. You'll notice the little red sliver there. This blue bar is the overall combat effectiveness of this particular mech, and you'll notice that it's very, very low for the light mechs for whatever reason, and it gets bigger with the uh, size of the mech and the weapons layout. So, and this little red indicator here indicates a penalty. Basically, penalties apply to your pilot's movements when they're piloting a mech that's beyond their skill level. The way that works is that green pilots can pilot only small mechs, uh, light mechs without a penalty. Regular pilots can only pilot medium mechs or smaller. Uh, veteran pilots can only pilot heavy mechs and smaller, and elite pilots can pilot anything you strap them into. And it gets bigger. Let me show you in a second. Hawk reporting. Hawk reporting. He's got a bigger bar, which isn't as kinky as it sounds. This is Link. So he takes a bigger penalty. So we'll try and put a regular pilot in there. You can put a green pilot in there, but he'll suffer a, an enormous penalty for doing so. Let's see. take the Gauss rifle out of the Hollander because it's really not a good thing. Let's see what we can purchase. There's actually a, a mod available that lets you have the Timberwolf from the very start of the mission of the campaign. You open with it. Unfortunately what that means is that with your lousy green and regular pilots with really bad gunnery. You spend most of the mission getting shot and just sort of waiting around for your guy to eventually hit with his heavy weapons. Some light auto cannons in there. Uh, laser. Let's not use the laser. Let's use SRMs. Since this isn't a particularly long mission, we won't have much of a problem not having uh, running out of ammo. Let's see, is there anything interesting when we salvage? Just take SRM back, put that in there. Clan version, as you can tell with the C, is is better. Who should we have? Oh. oh, Beast is wounded. Let's put Hawk, Hawk in there then. He's got good sensors and that's what we're going to be using the Raven for. Let's put Mystique in group 2. And now we've got our force. So let's go ahead and head out. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. 